It had been quite a long time since I had done anything in watercolors, and I found this that llama is actually a, a pop socket, which I thought was hilarious because I'm like, that's someone's like legit watercolor and it's a pop socket. So the real thing is like teeny weeny tiny. And so I was like, all right, I want to challenge. I want to see if I can do this in watercolors as well. So <laughs> um, yeah, so this was a self challenge and it was actually super, super fun. I also get a lot of requests for llamas and I never, I have one, this really fun one that I've done with my, using my hamburger system. Um, that's a painted one, which is super cute, which I love. But other than that, I don't actually have any llamas. Um, and I'm on a kind of, a, a, I was kind of on an animal kick for a few months. So I have all these animal projects that I'm going to be <laughs> coming out with to show you. Um, but yeah, this one was so good. It has the cacti in there and the little llama thing. And I hadn't played with my Daniel Smith watercolors in forever. So it was such a great excuse to just kind of bust out my colors and see what we can do. So yeah, the drawing of it was really simple and straightforward. That's just using my favorite <laughs> Sorry, I'm having flashbacks of how fun this was. This my favorite graph gear, Pentel um, mechanical pencils. And I decided to replace the even lines with some super squiggly wiggly lines. So yes, using my myriad of Daniel Smiths, which um, this is Cascade Green. I'm almost positive that's what that is. I did this project a while ago. Um, and I got brand new brushes all the way from Australia. Um, and I absolutely love them, but I refuse to tell my students about them because I don't, they're from Polina Bright and they're really expensive, but they're awesome. I think she makes them herself. Um, I'm obsessed with her work. You can find her here on YouTube. She's got a huge Instagram following, huge Pinterest following. That's how I found her. And I finally caved and I brought a set of her brushes and I absolutely love them. So I'll just leave that up to you. <laughs> you can go on Etsy and check her brushes out, but I really love them. Um, I just feel bad. I don't want anyone to go buy them because they're, they are. It was like, well, actually they're not. They're about 25 bucks each. It was about $100 for four. So actually real good quality watercolor brushes are that much. So actually they're not that expensive. They just, I think it packed a punch because I bought them all at one time. <laughs> Normally I would buy like one at a time, but they were coming from Australia. So it stung a little bit, but I do love them. So I have no regrets. So the way that I got the like shadowing on that cacti to the left too, is I, um, I actually dropped in a second layer of a darker color on top of that cascade all to the one side. That's why it looks like it's kind of shaded because I'm super fancy like that. So here is um, just kind of messing around with different colors. I have kind of like a yellowy ochre and then here's just some blues. I mean, there's really no rule. There's no blue llamas as far as I can tell. So it was just fun kind of dropping in different colors and swirling them around. Um, for those who are interested in inexpensive watercolor brushes, that's what I'm using here. And I actually love these two and these are way cheaper. My usual go-tos are, um, what are they called? Silver velvet brushes. And these um, have been the first set that I bought. They were, they're Mimic by Creative Mark and they're actually really nice. And I actually like them a little bit better than the silver, the silver ones because they are, um, and Velvet is the name of the rest of that brand, um, Velvet Silver, is that they come, these come to all the, the I was going to say the lashes. The, the <laughs> I can't talk right now. All of the bristles are come to a point and in the velvet, silver velvet brushes, they're more like staggered and then taper. So I, you don't get quite a fine of a point on their rounded brushes, which I hadn't noticed until I got these. And I actually prefer these and they're actually much cheaper. So I will make sure to link to all the brush things in the description box for you. Um, and um, yeah, but anyway, any it's just kind of fun. And you don't really know these things until you kind of like try them out. So um, yeah, you guys, you're seeing all the demo brush things today. So I'm just going back over everything with my graph gear. Um, I think this is my point nine. It's pretty bulky, pretty heavy duty uh, pencil. So it's great for shading. You can actually shade with it because the lead is soft enough and big enough to lay down enough where you can actually go back in with a blending stump if you want to. Um, and the opera pink is that beautiful, beautiful pink color, um, which I 
absolutely love. And then oh, this is this is straight up fountain pen ink that I, that I love and that I am obsessed with. If you know me at all, I have this huge fountain pen ink <laughs> selection, like a, a, a shamedly gigantic. And I um, they work amazing with watercolors. Um, I try not to teach with them because I don't want anyone to feel like they have to go run and grab any. But that being said, I love them so much. They're so rich. That's the turquoise color, which is just so rich and dreamy. And it goes on because they're already wet. You know, you don't have to like whip up a big batch. You have to worry about the consistency or like getting it right again. It's like always just straight up the most amazing color right out of the bottle. And I store them in these amazing vintage antique perfume bottles. Don't even get me started. It's like a whole thing with me. Um, anyways, going back to the project, I am using, this is just opaque um, white gouache that you marries perfectly well with watercolors. And um, yeah, it's just great for opaque finishes. So dotted those all around, call it a day. And there's my cute little llama project. And in this end screen, I'm actually going to leave you with my other quick llama project so you can see what that other one looked like since you like llamas so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.